The History of Naruto Once upon a time, some huge lady ate a flower, got mega high, and turned into a ten-tailed beast. Fortunately, her two sons weren't really into that, and they had a huge fight. It's not looking too good for our boys in white, so one of them sucks the ten-tailed monster into his body and becomes the first in Cherokee. Shortly after that, the dude realizes it's probably not a good idea to have a nigh-invincible rage monster in his pancreas, so he splits it up into nine tiny-tailed beasts, and they're really cute. Some time passes, and they get huge and not so cute anymore. Except for you, Karama. You're still adorable. And this godlike miracle earns him the title, Sage of Six Paths. Now, the dude has two sons, Ashura and Indura, and they beef so hard that they start a reincarnation cycle of angst and handsomeness that doesn't get broken for a few millennia, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Indura had creepy eyes and was basically a super ninja, and Ashura, well, he kind of sucked, but he worked out a lot, and one day he was better than his brother. This process ultimately made Ashura a better person, and he started preaching the philosophy of loving your fellow man, and he was basically skinny Buddha. However, Indura wasn't really into that, so they had a big fight until they both got old and died. Indura's rage boner for Ashura and Ashura's regular boner for Indra were so strong that their rivalry got passed down through the generations. Fast forward and Hashirama Senju was born, and so was Madara Uchiha. The Senju and the Uchiha clans were the dominant ninja nations that taught the practices of chakra and ninjutsu and weaponized them. But Hashirama's clan was stronger, so Madara stepped up to him like, yo, my clan is hotter than yours, we should be in charge. But Hashirama was like, nah and they started a war. Sooner or later, one of their battles ended with Madara dying. The Uchiha surrendered, but Hashirama was all like, nah, it's cool, Raj, you can stay with us. And the first land occupying more than one clan, the Land of Fire, was born. Fast forward a little, and there's a bunch of countries now. Each country has their own capital military village and special types of ninja that come from there. Each village also has a ridiculously OP super ninja protecting them called the Kage. The Land of Fire has the Hokage and Konoha Gakure, or the village hidden in the leaves. Hashirama Senju was the first Hokage, his brother Tobirama, who had arguably one of the most avoidable deaths in the entire series, was the second, and now Hiruzen Sarutobi was the third. Hiruzen was the sensei who taught the three Sani, Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Orochimaru. These three, who all inexplicably don't have last names, are extremely important later on, so remember them. Anywho, the Hidden Leaf Village doesn't have a Jinchuriki, one of those nine insane chakra monsters brought on by the old man six pants, and they really, really want one. So another village crams the most powerful one inside a little girl and sends her over. Her name was Kushina Uzumaki, and when she gets to the village, she goes to the academy where she meets this blonde kid who turns out to be the fourth Hokage one day. She gets kidnapped, he rescues her romantically, they bang furiously for like ten years, and behold, they have a kid named Naruto with these weird lines on his cheeks that never really get explained. But while he's being born, some butthole in a mask rips the nine-tailed fox out of Kushina and starts terrorizing the hidden leaf village with it, but Minato's not really having that, so they fight, he gets away, and they both save their newborn son from death by getting killed super hard in the liver. They have heartwarming last words with Naruto, and to save the village, they stuff the nine tails inside his tiny infant body and seal it with a ninja pinwheel. Then they both go bleh, and the third Hokage says, I'm too old for this, and all the other people on the board were like, well, we kind of need you not to be. So he becomes Hokage again and issues a decree that Naruto's last name will be used Uzumaki, and that no one is allowed to tell him who he is, who his parents were, or that there was an ancient nine-tailed demon living inside his guts. Oh, and there was another war in there somewhere, and all the nations are now awkwardly avoiding eye contact with one another. And that's the history behind Naruto.